better place to meet to speak of freedom <coughs> than in Warsaw, Poland. For 70 years, the Polish people didn't negotiate with their oppressors. They didn't hope for change. <coughs> they didn't accommodate their loss of freedom. They never gave up the idea that Poland would be free. Today, we come here to demand the same for the Iranian people. <coughs> well, we congratulate those nations represented here today to discuss the future of the Middle East and Iran. We also speak to those nations that are not here. We understand your desire for accommodation and reconciliation. But there comes a time in life when reality must triumph over hope. We have tried to negotiate with Tehran. There have been negotiations with Tehran. We have hoped for the best for 40 years. And they have answered us with terrorism, oppression, and death. The thousands of martyrs in Iran lying in their graves are a testament to the fact there is no negotiating with this regime. The regime must end now. To those nations who believe that they must accommodate Tehran because there is no choice, we say to them, we are the choice, the people of Iran. The thousands. The thousands and thousands of Iranians who at the risk of their lives have taken to the streets of the cities and towns of Iran. They are your choice. The thousands and millions of people in diaspora across Europe and America, they are the choice. The NCRI is the choice. Mrs. Razavi is the choice. There is a choice for new leadership in Iran. I understand, I understand those nations not gathered here today who seek accommodation with Iran because they're concerned about nuclear weapons. I understand. But stopping nuclear weapons in Iran won't make the people of Iran any more free. It won't feed the hungry children in Tehran. It won't end the oppression of basic rights. It won't bring a free government. I say to those governments not here wanting to uphold the nuclear accord, there is more the Iranian people deserve than simply banning nuclear weapons and a government which will kill thousands of its own people, send terrorists to France and Germany and Albania, a government that will imprison its own people, murder its own opponents, cannot be trusted to keep its word on nuclear weapons or any other accord. A murderous regime is not a trusted regime. So, and so, my friends, they can call this conference anything they want, give it any name they want to give it. But here's the truth. Yesterday was about negotiating with Tehran. 
Today and tomorrow is about ending the regime and bringing a free government to Tehran. Welcome to the future. Thank you all very, very much.